Now, no brand controls my content. I always strive to have honest and authentic reviews. So if you value that in your tech reviews, please consider subscribing. So this is the Aorus. 5090 AI box, but you can just use this for gaming. Think of it as a giant eGPU with 32 gigs of VRAM and a desktop RTX 5090. Thunderbolt 5 compatibility all the way down to USB 3.2 Gen 2 for type C inputs. Obviously, if you're gonna get the most performance out of this, you really wanna use a Thunderbolt 5 because that's gonna have the most in and out input and output, which is gonna be very important for reducing your CPU bottleneck on the eGPU. And if this one costs too much because it's $3,000, you can go for this one, which is only about $700, but a lot more affordable. So on the back of the 5090 AI box, we got three display port outs, one HDMI, and then you got an ethernet port, a Thunderbolt, I'm guessing four or five. This is the input from the laptop. And here is your two USB A's, so you can plug in a mouse, a keyboard, a USB dock or a Thunderbolt dock. It looks like there's a headphone port here as well. That's pretty cool. So you gotta get the power input as well. And this has the power supply, the cooling unit, and a full desktop RTX 5090 on the inside. Now, one of the big limiting factors for this is definitely gonna be your CPU performance. For example, communicating directly with the NVIDIA GPU inside of games is gonna be one of your bottlenecks. So you maybe have a crazy GPU performance with the 5090, but if your CPU performance in your laptop can't keep up, then you're not gonna get the full performance out of this 5090. So Ideally, I would think you'd want to pair this with either a Thunderbolt 5 supported Intel 275HX CPU, or alternatively, or you could pair this with the Ryzen 9 9955HX 3D. Those would be the two CPUs that I would focus on pairing with this giant eGPU enclosure. For cleaning, you can just quick removing the fan filters. We'll let you go take this to the sink, wash them out, let them dry, and then you can put them back in. Very nice that you don't have to take the thing apart to be able to access that. Eventually, you probably would want to clean the inside out. Not sure how hard it would be to take this thing apart. It certainly is a heavy guy, and uh, it's supposed to be spec'd up to 600 watts of power to the GPU, if that's correct. Assume it's correct until we actually can get to test it, but that's pretty cool. There's double-sided fan filters built in. Too bad there's not a fan filter for the top, though I'm guessing this is just an air intake or something. I don't know what that is. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out.